Hi, this is my friend Micah. And so, um, have you ever heard about Nagaland before? Uh, no. Okay, so um, after my presentation today, uh, what's your thought on Nagaland and what God is doing in, in Nagaland in the world? Yeah, I, um, I was very impressed and inspired by your uh, presentation and just to see um, the mission of the gospel going forth in a region where um, it, you said it was it's one percent Christian. It was zero percent before. It was zero yeah. percent before. Yeah. Now it's one percent. It's all, almost hundred percent. Almost hundred percent. Yeah. Okay, um, but to see um, in the past like hundred years, right? Yeah. From it to go from that yeah. to a hundred percent, yeah, um, is just absolutely crazy. Right. Um, and um, and then to see, yeah, just see, um, you know. You and um, your people doing the work of of trying to um, spread the gospel in places where um, where people haven't um, heard the gospel is is just very inspiring um, to see. It's inspiring to see that work. Yeah, and where are you from in America? I'm from Illinois. Okay, and so what do you do? Um, I'm a videographer. Awesome, awesome. So would you like to visit Nagaland someday and, you know, do that, do that part of the world? I would love to. Okay. Yeah. Okay, do so you have any message to the people there? Um, I would say um, to um, fix your eyes on where the kingdom is not. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so uh, welcome back again. And so I have my friend Travis from from Iowa. Okay, yes. so 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 good to have you here. It's great to meet you. Yeah, so uh, I'm just asking this question to you know, have you ever heard about Naglin? And after my presentation, what has been your impression about God's work in the world, uh, yeah. specifically in India and that part of the world? Yeah, have you ever heard about Naglin before? So I, I hadn't really, which is surprising uh, i have been to india okay before and i didn't even i didn't know that nagaland was was over there um okay. so uh learning about nagaland was like oh so it's eye-opening okay. you know and then and seeing your presentation and and um then finding out that not only is there this whole other area of of india but that it's so saturated mm -hmm. with um christianity right um is like oh Oh my goodness. So I'm really excited um, for the potential of hearing about how God is stirring your heart, the potential for a wave of missionaries mm -hmm. and of the, the kingdom of God advancing westward yeah. through uh, India and also north and south into yeah. um, the, the rest of South Asia. Awesome. That's really exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Tell me something about you. What do you do, and you know what do you what do you envision to do, and would you ever come to India? Yeah. So, um, I feel like the Lord has put three things on my heart. Um, the first one is worship and prayer. Mm -hmm. um, the second is global missions, mm -hmm. and then the third is like the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And so I feel um, I'm seeking the Lord of how do you want me to bring those three things uh, together, and so. Uh, especially bringing worship and prayer to the mission field right. um, and, and marrying those things together. Mm -hmm. And then how do we communicate and how do we support that um, with, uh, with things like business and communications? Awesome. Awesome. And so, yes, absolutely. I'd love to go to India okay. um, and, uh, and to see what God might do. Yeah. Uh, awesome. That. awesome. Do you have any message uh, to mm -hmm. our friends back there? And yeah, they'll be very excited to have you, to see you, and yeah. to have you actually physically there. So, yeah. any message? I think I just would say the Lord is so good at weaving um, a tapestry. And um, I want to be a strategist, but God is a much better strategist. And so the better thing is to submit to his voice. Mm -hmm. And if I had got myself to India the way that I would... Um, I would never have met my brother who say so, and I would end. Um, God is just so good, and so I say, trust Him with the tapestry of your life story. Amen. Thank you.